I mean, it's better than ever, almost at 60,000 subscribers now. If I remember correctly, we started at around 7,000, 8,000 subscribers, right? Yeah, yeah, started at like seven, 8,000 subs, and now we're at, I think the exact number is what, like 55, 56? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here with Simone Bees. She's been working with us for 10 months now. We've been working with her specifically on the YouTube side. Simone, say what's up, tell us about yourself, and what do you do? Hey, what's up, Eamon? Super excited to be here. So I reached out to you last year because I was like, super super desperate not desperate in the like sense of trying to like make money or something like that but desperate because like i really wanted somebody who i could trust to help me grow my youtube channel i was like i'm serious about youtube i'm ready to grow youtube and i was kind of consistent at first and then i kind of went mia for like four months but like now i'm back and and i mean it's better than ever almost at sixty thousand subscribers now that's awesome and then if i remember correctly we started at around seven thousand eight thousand subscribers right yeah yeah started at like seven eight thousand and subs and literally you know now we're at i think the exact number is what like 55 56 yeah. okay cool i want to dive right in there you mentioned briefly you tried doing youtube for a bit and then you just went like mia what happened there and what do you think made it so difficult for you to stay consistent on youtube when you didn't have a team yeah i mean when you don't have a team on youtube it's like who is gonna one kind of like hold you accountable and then two who's going to be doing all the editing right like you're you're already making the content you got to get good at video editing the way that youtube is right now like if you're not a top notch editor most likely you're not going to do well like of course there's like the loom strategy but most people if you don't have the personality for that it's not really going to work for you so you need a team that's going to edit for you maybe help you come up with ideas seo optimization all of that stuff thumbnails thumbnails is huge right like thumbnails is a big one people don't really think that much about but like all of that stuff matters and you being one person there's no way you can just manage all that stuff by yourself plus run your business as well yeah makes sense one thing we did with you is like we came up with pretty much all of the ideas and then we also helped you on the scripting side as well we didn't script the whole thing word for word but especially the start and then the body we gave you the structure and then the outro we scripted it word for word as well do you think that's helped you sort of stay consistent because you're just able to turn on the camera look at the script for a bit and then just start free rolling yeah definitely i mean even now right so since you all do the intro and the outro and like the overall like body i usually can knock out a youtube video in like 30 minutes my thing is usually just <laughs> finding time in the week to knock it out but yeah like no literally it takes like 30 minutes now it's super super easy half the time i don't even watch the edit <laughs> so i usually just watch like literally the most important parts i think people don't know this but like first minute is the most important part of the youtube video and to me like the ending so i usually don't even watch the middle i just watch the beginning and the end and just make sure that's good and like that's it yep that's awesome and then now another thing i want to talk about is with you right you don't really do any paid ads that much you're pretty much just relying on organic mm -hmm. whether it's youtube no. whether it's instagram other stuff so what's your reasoning for like wanting to lean so hard on organic because i think a lot of people in this space they're just spending on ads spending on ads so what's your your take on that? What makes you lean towards organic? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've just always been an organic person, right? Like I didn't get into this like on purpose or anything like that. It was literally just me sharing my story and me just helping people whenever they ask for help. Just my story and just genuinely helping other people allowed me to grow to like 30,000 followers on Twitter. And then getting on to like TikTok and Instagram, I grew to 200,000 subscribers in one year, all organic. So it's like, you know, if I'm able to do it organically, I figured I can do the same thing on YouTube too. You know the biggest lever that people can pull when it comes to social media is that you don't have to spend ads if you build a true following a, a cult like following you shouldn't have to spend a dollar on ads unless you absolutely like want to right so that's the way i look at it right like I, I don't i don't need ads and i think that's why i'm on youtube that's why i'm on social media right i want i want to have that organic reach everywhere i go people are always coming up to me my youtube audience is 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 getting crazy like the type of people that come up to me like all different races all different kind of people like it's pretty crazy people are like yeah i watch you on youtube like i go to the gun range they're like yeah i'm, I'm why i've subscribed to you on youtube go to the gas station the gas station clerk is like i watch you on youtube like it's all over the place so it's funny like now people are like are you that tech youtuber but i never got that before and we've only been working for 10 months but like i said three to four of those months i didn't post a single video so yeah. <laughs> but it still grew the whole time that's the good part because right there you weren't posting for like three four months you're like busy with other stuff business life and then the channel was still growing because the way we came up with the ideas and structure of the channel, it's like we're just getting views over time, right? So every yeah. video we put up 
It's just exponential growth. So you mentioned there, you only pretty much record for like 30 minutes a week, right? Because like you already got the script ready, just turn on the camera and go. How long do you think it would take you per week if you're doing everything yourself like we didn't exist mm, i mean before when i was trying to do my videos myself it was taking me hours like first you got to think of the idea i didn't know how to even come up with a script until i had watched one of your youtube videos <laughs> so it was taking me hours to just write out the script hours to record and edit and do all that and i, I like i said i just didn't have time for that it's not really sustainable because if you want to do this long term you got to be consistent and if you can't stay consistent long term there's really no point in even getting started in terms of working with us like customer service wise and like how good we we're at communication responding etc like everything on that end was good yeah yeah of course yeah <laughs> i mean it's usually me that's like going ghost like i'm going mia y'all y'all are constantly blowing me up like hey are you gonna send a video in this week i'm like oh sorry i got busy you all are super super responsive super professional extremely organized everything that you do like you know i've had a great experience the whole time um literally have no issues whatsoever awesome appreciate it and then have you ever worked with any other content agencies in the past or you've been just kind of like doing stuff yourself or maybe some freelancers no never not for youtube because for youtube it was like you know there's other agencies out there that i've heard of but like they want so much from you and i i just don't believe in certain things right like i don't believe in giving somebody 10 20 30 percent of your company just because they're helping you make content and stuff like that because in no other business it's only in the content space right like no other business just gives up like 10 to 30 percent of their revenue because somebody's helping them do a job they just go hire that person full time like it just i don't know i, I don't like that part of our, our business that we're in yeah makes sense and i hate it too right so like whenever anyone pitches me a rev share type of deal like i'd never take it so that's why i'm like okay if i want to make this something other people like yourself want to buy it's like i just need like a flat retainer so yeah, yeah I don't I don't get the rev share thing, right? Like literally no other business does that. Like, you know, you'll look at Shark Tank and they're like, hey, you know, I'm looking for a $250,000 investment for 5% of my company. But then you have like all the content and back end people that want 10, 15, 20%. And they're just helping you make content, but at the end of the day, it's still like, it's it's yours, right? And they're not putting any money up. They're just coming in and literally just piggybacking off of what you've already built. You mentioned earlier, like now, since the 10 months you've been pumping YouTube, now you feel like you got that worldwide recognition even more than what you already have like hey the gas station dude everyone else how would you say your youtube audience quality is compared to instagram right because on instagram for example i think you have like 200 or 300k followers maybe even more than that and you're popping on tiktok too so do you feel like one youtube subscriber is equal to one instagram follower or is there like a difference yeah i mean i, I can't like quantify like one youtube followers equal to this amount of followers but i will say this that the people on youtube are definitely locked in like i had somebody come to my five day tech workshop and he was like look i just literally bought this ticket to give you your flowers i watched all your videos and i ended up implementing your strategies and i was able to get a job that sponsored me a clearance he was like i literally went on a clearance job typed in what you said to type in and it worked so what i've been seeing with the quality of the youtube leads one they're serious and two they're really really hungry so some will just use your free content and use it and run with it and then the ones that are like hey you know i want your guidance i want your mentorship you know they'll come and they'll pay to come into either your course or your higher ticket program whichever one it is um we had one youtube video it hit like over 160k views or maybe even more by now it was like here's why i quit my tech job like that type of thing yeah when when we launched that like did you see any like immediate effects in your business whether it's like a ton of lead flow coming in or a ton of buzz online maybe hit the news or something like that i mean honestly i don't even remember like i feel like it, it was so long ago and it happened over time right like it didn't go like straight from i think that's something with youtube that people don't realize like a lot of the big view videos they don't go like just zero to like 100k overnight a lot of them grow to that over time so um I just know that a lot of people did see the video and a lot of people would come up to me like, hey, you know, I really respect what you did, what you said and things like that. But I'm sure, you know, it brought a lot of traffic, right? So through like the links that I have with tracking and things like that, a lot of my traffic is coming from YouTube. So, you know, if you don't already have a following, build a, a more loyal following that that like knows you for you and feels like you know it's a it's an organic following because it is right because it's youtube right you shouldn't be paying for ads you should just be putting your content out 
So to me, my YouTube followers and subscribers, I think they're the best ones out of out of all of them, right? Because on the other platforms, you got people, they'll watch a video. They might not even watch the full 60 second video, right? Like, but people on my YouTube, they know all of the strategies because they're sitting there and they're watching the full 15 minute video. So they understand everything that I'm saying. Like there's been people on Instagram following me for years and they still don't know where to go to find jobs that sponsor clearances. But if they watched even one YouTube video, I'm sure they would already know, even though I put it on Instagram too, they're just not paying attention. Like they don't watch the full 60 seconds. Yeah, it makes sense. It's like when you go to YouTube, you have a different mind frame, like the, the viewer or your prospects, they're in that mood of like, okay, I'm gonna watch a whole 10 minute video. Or I'm gonna learn stuff. But like when they're scrolling through Instagram, like they're brain dead, they're just like, just going right they're not really learning anything yeah. last one if someone's on the fence of working with me and my agency like what would you tell them i mean i would say like if they're on the fence with working with you i guess they really just need to ask themselves like am i ready to really take youtube to the next level because i think that there's no better you know agency to work with than yours like when i work with you it doesn't really even seem like an agency right it seems real like small like mom and pop um, you all get stuff back really fast with a lot of agencies you work with the longer you work with them the worse quality it gets the longer it takes to get stuff back but you know I haven't experienced that with you all at all so if you want to grow on YouTube and you want to have like a team of professionals that will give you the insight knows what's working for other people in the space then you know I think that your your team is the best team to work with awesome thank you so much Simone appreciate all that and all the nice words you said so I'm gonna leave all your links in the description if you guys want to drop a follow to Simone and yeah thank you so so much for your time and if anybody is on the fence of working with us just hit the first link in the description look at all of our case studies and then book a call so that's it peace out